Meg trembles as Colin Farrell dropped bombshell photos that she hid for years. Her customers of all ages. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are seemingly having some trouble in the marriage, as there are reports that the Duke of Sussex, Prince Harry, is keen on making a return to his royal duties after his father personally called to tell him about his cancer diagnosis. People familiar with the developments told UK-based news media outlets. Omid Scobie, journalist whose work focuses on the royal family, revealed that Meghan never wants to set foot in England again, but author Tom Quinn, who follows the UK's royal family, is convinced that Prince Harry will not back down when it comes to his return to his home country, England. Speaking to the Mirror, Quinn said that Harry's pressuring his wife Meghan to join him at an Invictus Games event, which will be held in London. The Invictus Games is one of the few areas of Harry's life where he feels on firm ground. There's no doubt that helping disabled soldiers is a good thing, and it's something that Harry's tried to do without it becoming all about him, Quinn was quoted as saying by the newspaper. It's good for Brand Sussex, but only if Meghan is also there. Harry is definitely putting pressure on her to join him, Quinn further added. This clash of opinion between the pair is causing huge tension in the couple's relationship, the author who covers the UK's royal family said. The author also referred to a passage written by Scobie in one of his books where he quoted Meghan as saying that she wants to visit the UK. He said that Meghan must be realising that you should never say never because she may have to visit the UK with the games coming up and a father-in-law seriously ill. A permanent return for the Sussexes to the UK may also depend on Prince Harry's elder brother, Prince William. King Charles's former butler, Grant Harold, while speaking to the New York Post, said that Prince Harry's return to the UK depends on Prince William. There's so much that's happened over the last couple of years and that needs to be sorted out before the Sussexes make a permanent return. He could have a discussion with his brother about resuming his royal duties, Harold was quoted as saying. It comes after recently an ex-app account caused a media stir by posting never-before-seen photos of Meghan Markle amid divorce rumours. These shocking photos show Meghan Markle posing offensively. Hug, kiss, lay next to many different men. The Duchess dresses boldly and hotly in every photo. With diverse backgrounds from dressing rooms, hotel restaurants to private beds. The men that she posed with had very diverse jobs and their ages ranged from 18 to 70 years old. Some of the men are wealthy businessmen, scandalous Arab millionaires, co-stars and athletes. Many stars were called out when their sensitive photos with Meghan were revealed, including Matt Law, James Acaster and Colin Farrell. Back to the past, Meghan Markle got a minor role in the 2011 comedy Horrible Bosses. She had to use special connections to get this small role in the movie. Starring Jennifer Aniston and Colin Farrell, Meghan admitted, Colin, the sweetest, the most charming, and not too hard on the eyes, I would say. Even though she's never admitted that she took a shine to Mr Farrell, there's one person Meghan revealed she's always loved everything about him. With a limited talent, Meghan always tries to find different ways to gain the favour of big directors. <laughs>